Mike Hughes here. I'm at Sakura of America. And um, Tony, you want to tell us a little bit about your products you have here? Certainly. Our uh, flagship product is a solid marker. And what this is, is it is a stick of solidified paint. Right. Most markers are liquid. Yes. Liquid ink, liquid paint. Well, this here is solid paint. As you can see, that is a material right there. It doesn't get on your fingers, mind you. But if you take it to any surface and apply a little pressure, it goes on nice and smooth. And you mean any um, surface just about? Any, because paint goes on just about any surface. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it can be steel, it can be concrete, plastic, wood, steel. Uh, paint goes on just about anything. And then I'm going to come over here real quick, and they can see that you've got it on floats, you've got it on fins. Yes. Um, you can put it on rusty parts to say that these need to be replaced yes. or um, changed out and, and where, where it needs to be cut off, whatever. Yes. Uh, and you can do that all underwater. You could. Um, you could. And then later come back and do your sawing and stuff. That's after, right. After That's you marked right. it up. Yep. Cool. And um, so does it, it comes in several colors, I take it? It comes in a total of 11 colors. Okay. Three of which are, are what we call fluorescent high visibility colors. Right. We've got the fluorescent orange, fluorescent pink, and a fluorescent yellow. And that'd and be great for your dive gear. That would be great for your dive gear. There is one caveat, though, to the fluorescents, and that is that they are not color fast. They're not ultraviolet light fast, uh -huh. meaning when they're hit by direct sunshine, they'll fade. The oh, color will, okay. will disappear on you. Indoor, so they're, they're great. Mm -hmm. All the other colors are UV fast, so they will, they will not fade on you. Okay, so they'll be the same color forever, eh? Yes. Okay, and um, anything else that we should know about them? Oh, no, but if I could just come over here and just show you. The marks take about five minutes to dry. Mm -hmm. Once dry, they're permanent, and they, don't, they won't rub off. Okay. They won't come off. Weather won't take them off. The only thing that you can use to take them off is alcohol or paint thinner. Right. Could, or something more abrasive. Or, or you, could, you could basically uh, <laughs> scrape them off. Yeah. It's used a lot by auto car dealers to mark windshields mm -hmm. with, with information here. Oh, yeah. Have you. And the way they take that off is they take a little scraper and it just scrapes right off. Mm -hmm. And this isn't something that was just newly developed. This has been around for quite a while. This has been around for quite a while. The company, the Japanese company Sakura, has been around since 1929. Yes. This product was developed in 1978. In, okay. uh, to meet uh, the marking demands of shipbuilders in Europe. What was happening was uh, shipbuilders were having a problem with traditional markers mm -hmm. marking rough carbon steel. The tips were clogging or wearing off on them invariably, right? Yeah. And so they were failing. So they came to Sakura and Sakura figured, well, let's come up with a marker that didn't have a tip. There's no right. fiber tip and was durable. And since paint is durable, they found a way of taking liquid paint for a process and solidifying it, putting it in a, in a nice little barrel, and there you go. Well, you got to hold that bucket a long time to get that to solidify. <laughs> <laughs> it's all automated, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, you really do your job. And if they want more information about your products? They can uh, look up our website at www.sakuraofamericaindustrial.com. Okay. They can Google uh, Sakura Solid Marker, and they'll come right up. Okay. A lot of folks sell it online. And I'm going to get uh, just a shot right of that. Uh, right there so they can see it. Sakura of America Industrial.com. Well, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you.